What's going on everybody? Welcome back to DevSoaps. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Python in 2024 and if it's a language that should be on your radar if you're learning how to code. Now, a lot of people, when they're just starting out learning how to code, they fall into what I like to call the Python trap. And that's basically this. They see Python as an easy language for beginners and they decided to choose it as their first language. And I'm gonna get into why this might not be the best idea. But first we need to address that. So most people, so most people pick Python because they hear it's the most popular programming language. I mean, even if you look at job requirements or when you look at projects or freelance projects, you see that Python is listed there. And that's because Python is a very versatile language. It's used in a lot of things. It's used in a lot of different fields, but the language itself won't get you to where you need to be. For example, the biggest jobs for Python itself would be in something like data science or backend development. And as a junior developer, someone just getting into the industry, you're not really gonna land a backend developer job. That's because with backend development, you work with a lot of sensitive data and they just don't want anybody working on that type of work. And with data science, it takes a little bit more than just learning the skills. You might have to go to college, go to school for four years in order to get a degree in order to get a job in data science. And for that, it's not appealing for a lot of people. And then a lot of people say, well, you know, Python is a great starting language for somebody interested in learning how to code. It's a great point of origin for them. That way they can have a easy entry into the tech field. The problem with this is that if you choose to learn Python just because it's an easy language, there are tons of easy languages out there. And those other languages might leverage you in a position more in line with why you want to learn how to code. And that's the key behind this entire video is path. What path do you want to go down? When you're choosing your programming languages, you don't just want to focus on the languages themselves. You want a set in stone roadmap that you can follow to get you where you want to be. And the more you learn about roadmaps and paths, the more you learn that Python might not be the best option for someone starting out in programming. Would you rather learn a language just because it's easy to give you an entry in a tech field, or would you rather learn a language that is just as easy, but it can also leverage you to get you where you wanna be? Take JavaScript, for example. JavaScript is a language we recommend for beginners because it has the same amount of ease as Python, and you're more on track to get a job with a language like JavaScript than you would Python. Like I said, Python is popular because it's used hand in hand with other languages, but JavaScript is a language that you can use in itself to help you leverage you into a job. And, and here's some more popular paths, iOS development, Android development, web development. If you wanted to become an iOS developer, you could see how Python wouldn't be a great fit because iOS development doesn't work with languages like Python. It works with Swift and you have to learn the iOS framework. Same thing goes with Android development, Java and Kotlin. So you could see how learning Python wouldn't really benefit you if those are the set paths you wanna go down and you'd be much better off spending your time learning the things you need for the field you actually wanna go down. Now, I, I wanna take a step back. I'm not discouraging Python as a language. Python is very valuable. Python is used in, like I said, a lot of different things, but Python by itself isn't what you need to help get you the job. Now let's transition to something like front-end development where Python can be very beneficial too. Now you have to understand the job market. You have to understand what employers are looking for and you have to understand that if you're looking to get a career in tech as fast as possible, learning Python still might not be the best course of action. So without a doubt, the easiest barrier of entry into the tech job market would be front-end web development. And that's because it's a pretty relatively easy field to learn. It's not something you have to go to school for. And it's not something where the languages are too complex. Like you're not having to learn things like C++ or C Sharp, but there's still a lot of languages that are in web development. So as someone just learning how to code and wanting to get a job fast, front-end development would be the route to go down. And the languages you would need for that, of course, HTML and CSS. These are your base blocks. And then instead of learning Python, you would wanna learn JavaScript. Because if you look at what is revolves in the technical space when it comes to web development, JavaScript is king. And Python is a subset to that. It's used and it's used a lot. It's used everywhere, but it's used as a tool, not as a primary source. So the gist of this entire video is don't spend one second learning things that won't get you where you wanna be as quick as possible. And of course, this video isn't necessarily for advanced programmers. If you're an advanced programmer and you're like, man, I wanna learn Python, then of course, go fiddle with Python, go learn it because it's gonna be a great addition to your tool belt. But if you're someone just starting out and you've fallen into this Python trap where you think Python's the best programming language because it's 
easy for beginners, and it's one of the most popular coding languages, understand that this trap can set you back from where you wanna be in the future. Like I said, the entire video is about finding your path. So before you go dive in and learn a language like Python, and, and before we go even further, I would say this about any language. If you wanted to learn web development, I wouldn't tell you to go out and learn Swift. All that this comes down to is what path do you wanna go down and what languages will help get you that path. Let's go back to web development, for example. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React. This is a path that is the most in demand with research that shows that this is what employers are looking for. And those are the languages you wanna learn first before learning a language and addition like Python. There are so many better languages to start with that'll help get you where you wanna be. So when you're just starting out in programming and you're wanting to pick your languages, you're wanting to know what field you wanna go down, have a goal in mind. Have a goal in mind of what your future career looks like, what field interests you the most, and see what languages align with that goal. Otherwise, you're just learning pointless things that you're never gonna use, and they can set you back from getting where you want to be. It can make you lose motivation for the field in its entirety because you're not getting closer to that goal, and the goalpost is always moving. So this is just a quick video. I wanted to give you guys some food for thought, especially those interested in programming and seeing if Python is a great language for them to start. I hope you guys love this video. Like I said, this isn't me bashing on Python. This is me just helping you guys get closer and closer where you wanna be and giving guys some information because a lot of the times we trivialize certain things that won't really help us in the long run. Thank you guys so much for this video. Please hit that subscribe button and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Peace.